Hey, what's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fuel Efficient channel. Today is September 13, 2016. One more time, I'm back here at the Delaware Canal in Yardley, Pennsylvania. Now, this is some serious stuff I'm gonna talk in this intro, okay? I'm here to actually do another challenge. Last week, if you guys saw, I posted a challenge called How Many Pounds Can You Catch on a Pink Senko? We're gonna do the same version of that challenge today, but instead of the Senko, whoa, you see? We are going to do it with the Z-Man Chatterbait. But we got a little problem, okay? I mean, we got a big problem in our hands, okay? Last time when I was here at the Delaware Canal, you guys know already, okay? We are suffering from a drought here. The canal was already very, very low, okay? Today, check this out. Are you for real, man? Before, dude, is this even for real? You know what I'm saying? Before, when I came here, I'm gonna show you guys here real quick, right? Just uh, my hand and the water level. Before, the water level was about this much, right? At least we had some water over here, as you guys can see in the other video. Now we don't have anything and holy cow, I don't know where the fish are at at this place right now. I mean, it's got to be somewhere in the deep pools somewhere. So, you know, it's going to be quite challenging today. Stay tuned because today should be good. Holy cow, years I've been fishing this place, like four years now. I think the first time I came down here was back in 2012, you know? And I mean, every summer, I just know that this place kind of suffers from a drought, you know what I'm saying? In other words, you know, when it doesn't rain, the water that flows from the Delaware River up, up there, you know, doesn't get into the canal, right? But this year, this is stuff right here. This is brutal, fellas. This is truly brutal. I mean, this is like nothing left. What happens to the fish, you know? Maybe the fish are all dead. I don't know. Got to walk around a little bit, check it out, and uh, try to catch something. We'll see. The struggle is real, fellas. Check that out. I mean, how can, do, how can I do a proper challenge if there's no freaking water and no, fish, no freaking fish for me to do a challenge? Man, I feel so bad for the Delaware Canal. Holy cow, folks. I've seen this place bad, but this is the first time that I've seen it this bad. You see this little stretch of water right here? I'm gonna show you guys. That's it. It ends right there. This is the little stretch of water left in this part of the canal. And I mean, you guys can't see it right now, but there are seven, eight sunfish right over here doing absolutely nothing they're just saving their energy getting the little oxygen left that is in the puddle of water and waiting to freaking die if it doesn't rain soon this is how bad the situation here is in the delaware canal so in other words for today forget about the chatter bay challenge all right i mean i'll try to find some water in the canal but forget about the challenge all right today we just gotta do do a video, you know, uh, try to catch some fish out of the canal, okay? If that is even possible. Damn, son. All right, stay tuned. <laughs> oh boy. All right, all right, folks. I, I walked upstream. I've seen enough. Okay, this is this is really a bad a bad joke. All right. If there's no water. There's just no way we can fish. Don't even think about a challenge. Just in terms of fishing itself, there's there's no water. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but uh, I'm already here. We gotta think positive. Upstream is all dried out. I went two, three blocks upstream. There's no water. Downstream, there is some water, as you guys will see. Very, very, very shallow water. 
but we gotta think positive right if there's water there's fish if there's fish we can catch them so forget about challenges we just gotta catch some try our best to catch some fish in very 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 shallow water if they didn't die yet okay because i don't even know how are the oxygen levels in this water so i guess we gotta call this video no water left behind <laughs> i think that's a good uh, i think that's a good title you know no water left behind that's right we gotta cover a lot of water whatever's left here and we will try our best to land one fish out of the dried out delaware canal and for god's sake modern nature you need to step your game up all right we need some rain badly all right modern nature you get it stay tuned and let's try to catch some fish damn son Whoa, yeah, you, you scared me, you scared me, man. What's up? What's up, dude? Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you, man. man. Watch all your videos. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Going for a ride, huh? Yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. I was actually just fishing like an hour ago. I was going for yellow perch. But, okay. Um, this I place is drying out, dude. Yeah, I know. Damn. I, actually, um, I caught like a, yeah, like a 15 pound carp okay. over the weekend with my hands because okay. the water was so low. I, I oh saved really? It. Yeah, I put it in a different spot. Good, good. Yeah, yeah uh, man. Do you mind if I take a picture with you? Oh, of course not, man. Thanks, yeah, bro. absolutely. Thank you. Good to go. Nice meeting you. Uh, nice meeting you, bro. If I catch anything today, you gotta definitely know about it. Yeah, cool. Thank you. It's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be epic if I catch something today. Doesn't mean there's no fish though. Fish on! Oh! First bite of the day, first fish I missed in freaking three inches of water. All right, no water left behind. We're gonna cover more water and try to land at least one of them. Let's do it. Catch anything? Nothing so far. No, Catch anything yet? No, nothing yet. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's one right there, about 15 inches, but it's not doing anything. It's just sitting there. Yeah, the water's too shallow. You see, it's just surviving right now. It's not even interested in eating or anything. I've been chasing this one for about three minutes. Yeah, not not even signs of hunger or anything. Yeah, there you go. Just moved a little bit. Yeah, this one's not gonna eat. I'm using polarized glasses, so you know with these you can see. Can yeah, it helps a lot. You can see, you know, better under the water. Takes the glare off. Huh? Exactly, takes the glare off. Right. Uh, you know, keep walking. <laughs> what is that you have on the end? A what? Oh, like a worm. oh yeah, it's supposed to work like uh, look like a worm. It's called a senko. You just throw it in the water, and it does a worm action, oh. and then the fish sees it, you know, and then grabs it. How does that work? If the water was a little bit higher, works really well. I mean, I, what's the science behind that? Just looks like a worm. Oh yeah, when what it goes into it, what makes it move? When it goes into the water, it has a wobbling action. Of yeah. course, with water this shallow, I can't really show you, but the sides of the lure moves like this. Yeah, it thinks it's a piece of bubble gum. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> no, they think it's a worm. Yeah, they bite it right away. Have a nice day. Thank you. Oh, fish on. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. You see that? It's a small one. We oh brought you good luck. Yeah, but you see, it's a small one, but finally we caught a small fish. What kind is it? It's a small largemouth bass. Yeah, see, there you go. Very small. But it's a fish, right? So there we go. <laughs> actually, <laughs> With water this shallow, I'm actually very happy that I caught this one, you know? Yeah. Yeah, in uh, the years when it was, it dried almost and the fish died. Oh, really? Yeah, you oh, yeah. see them in the bottom. Really? Oh. Do you rem recall like how long ago that was? Long. long. Uh, 
I can't really say, but quite a while. Quite a while, quite okay. A while. So it has been in instances where it dried out completely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, they used okay. To. Yo, what's up, man? Fans, man. Hey, how's it going, bro? How you doing? Out fishing with your family, huh? Yeah. Great. Good hobby. Good hobby, man. Yeah. How have you guys been doing right. so far? We were watching your video this morning. Man, you yeah. chose the wrong place today. This yeah. place is drying yeah. out. Yeah, we live around, so, you know. I see. All right, that's good. That's good. Well, I hope you catch some stuff, okay? All right. Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Damn! All right, come on. I know this fish is here. Come on, jitterbug, do your job. Man, that fish took it. Holy cow. What a brutal day of fishing. I don't even know if you guys can see me or not, the GoPro. Really sucks on night time filming. But as you guys saw, you know, we did, we did try our heart today, right? Despite the fact that the freaking canal was like three, four inches deep, you know, I was actually very happy that we ended up landing one freaking little fish. And you know, this is to show you guys, you know, that sometimes not everything goes according to plan, you know? I came here planning to do the chatterbait, the chatterbait video, you know, how many pounds you can catch on a chatterbait, right? And then what do I see when I come here? No water. <laughs> That's why this video is called No Water Left Behind, right? I covered a lot of water today, folks. No jokes now. And, uh, you know, I walked a lot. You guys can see it's all dark now. I've been fishing the whole day. And, uh, yeah, only one little largemouth bass. So, you know, I apologize for the lack of fish in this video. Hopefully tomorrow. It's gonna be a better day. <laughs> Hopefully we'll catch some more fish, okay? So stay tuned, say hi to the darkness. Tie lines in the two next video.